Hi and welcome back to Tule, the podcast about the magnificent Iceland. In our last podcast we covered Iceland's magical elves, but this time our subject is much larger and darker. We are covering Icelandic trolls, or tröll, as the Icelanders call them. Other Icelandic words for trolls are risar, jötnar, thursar and skessur, which are the female trolls. Trolls, just like the elves, are a part of the ancient heritage of Scandinavian mythology. There are many stories about trolls in Iceland. Most trolls lived in peace with the human race and are described as very big, ugly, hairy and incredibly strong. But some are dumb, greedy and vicious, while others are good and wise. Those are usually trustworthy. They return a favor but tend to get revenge if you harm them. The Icelandic trolls are creatures of the night and they cannot withstand the sun. If a troll is exposed to sunlight, it is instantly turned to stone. Many trolls that have suffered that evil fate can be found all around Iceland. As you can see in these photographs, some are clearer than others. In this photo, you can see Reynistrangar, which are located in Vík í Mýrdal. You can see a troll that was turned to stone while dragging a boat with three masts. Some believe that this vulnerability to sunlight caused their extinction. The trolls live far up in the mountains, together like the humans. They hide in their caves during the day but tend to their crafts and animals during night. Sometimes they even throw feasts. Trolls can become several hundred years old, and they are pregnant with their troll babies for at least five times longer than humans. Trolls take good care of their children. Troll babies usually reach the age of 20 before they learn how to speak. A very good example of an evil troll woman is Grilla. Her husband is called Lappaludi. They are commemorated each year around Christmas time and have been since early Middle Ages. Grilla is big and ugly and has a wrinkled nose with 18 bulges on it. She wears a pendant with a wolf's hat and has very sharp teeth. She has big hands with claws and one foot like the devil with a hoof. Grilla has 20 tails and a bag on each of her tails. Her favorite food is children. She has had three husbands, but she ate the first one. And she has had over 100 children. Grilla made a deal with the Icelandic nation. Before Christmas, she can have all the naughty children. So still today, all Icelandic children are told they better behave or else Grilla will come and put them in her bags on her tail and feast on them. Most of the children started behaving properly and she had little food for several years. Then she trained 13 of her sons to go one by one down to the village. 13 days before Christmas and behave badly and show the children how, for example, slamming doors is fun. Each of these 13 sons has acquired a special name that describes what they do. But today the sons are known as the 13 Santa Clauses and instead of teaching kids bad manners, the kids put one of their shoes in the windowsill and 13 days before Christmas they come one by one and give the kids little treats. Unless they've been bad, then they get a potato. If you want to know more about the 13 Icelandic Santa Clauses or trolls and their habits, you can click on this link. 
and read about it. That's all for now. Thanks for listening and I hope you enjoyed learning about the Icelandic truck. Subscribe to hear all about the ghost of Iceland. Until next time, thank you and goodbye. For as they say in Iceland, Takk og bless.